Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Hi. Now, we are going to talk about functions in Excel. A function is a predefined formula, and by this way, we can perform calculations easily. For instance, let's think that we have to get the sum of these values. As we can see, we have 90 values. We also can see the average and the sum. But when we select another cell, those values disappear. We can get the value of the sum by using a formula. It could be something like this. Let's write the formula as A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 and so. But by this way, it will be a big formula taking all the value. And since there is a function in Excel called sum, we can get it easily just by writing something like this. The function and a range. By this way, we can see that a function has a name and also parameters, also called arguments. A function can have zero, one, two, or more parameters. It depends on the function. Also, we can have the functions in Spanish or English, and we have to separate each parameter by a comma or by a semicolon. It depends on your system settings. A parameter can be text, numbers, Boolean values, you know, true or false, references or values in cells or ranges. Let's see how to insert a function in our spreadsheet. In the first way, we can start writing the equal sign, then write the function name, for instance, sum. Then its parameters, in this case, a range from A1 to F15. Then close the parentheses. And we got it. Another way to do it is by clicking in the Auto zoom drop down button. Then, if the function that we want to work with is in the list, we can select it. For instance, zoom. Then, we have to select the cells for the first parameter, and it is done. If the function is not in the list, we can click in More Function and we are going to get the insert function window. We can type a function name or we can see all the functions for a category. For instance, if we are going to work with the zoom function, we have to select Mac and Trig. Then we have to select the function. In this case, it is Zoom. Then click in OK. And we are going to see the function arguments window. In this case, we have just to change the value for each parameter. And then click in OK. And it is done. Another way to do the same is by Clicking in the Formulas tab, then we can get the Insert Function Assistant by clicking in the Insert Function button, 
and we are going to get the insert function window or we can select the function in the function library button. In this case, we are going to work with the zoom. As you can see, Excel has a lot of functions. By this way, we can work easily with financial functions, data time, math and truth, statistical, lockup and reference, database, text, logical information, engineering, cube, compatibility, and web functions. Some of these functions exist just in the last version of Excel. In this case, these functions are cube, compatibility, and web functions. Also, you can get a better reference about formulas and functions in the Microsoft Office site. Here, we can find some tips and a guide about how to work with functions. Now we can make calculations by different ways. You just have to choose what way is more easy for you and more understandable. I will be writing some formulas and functions in order to get the sum for these values. The first one will be writing literal values as a formula. So I can do it by writing one, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, and it is 21. Also, I can do it using references. It would be A1 plus A2 plus A3, A4, and A5, and A6. Another way to do it is by using a function sum with literal values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or with references sum of a1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Also, I can work with ranges. So I have to write sum from A1 to A6. And another way is by writing this range in another way. So we have the first parentheses for the sum functions. Now, I'm going to insert another parenthesis, opening and closing, in order to define the range. It would be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. And we got it. Also, as you know, we can make a defined name for this range, maybe values. Then we can write the function with the defined name as parameter. And it is done. Now, as you can see, we can have the same function with different parameters. It is something important that you have to know. Not all the functions can be called like this. Also, we can see another function that work like that. The year function. In 
this case, we are passing an integer value to the function. And also, we can pass a string. Another thing you have to know is how to work with dates. Usually, in Excel, we can write something like 02, 02, 1986, and it will be a date. But you can change the way you can see. By this way, you are going to discover how Excel works with dates. If you see the date as a number, you are going to get the number which is representing that date. Let's see another example. Number one. In these cells, I'm going to change the way I'm seeing a number, in this case as a short day. As we can see, number one means in a date format, January the 1st, 1900. Then we can see that the day 31,445 means February the 2nd, 1986. So if we add one unit, we are going to get it as the next day. For instance, this plus one means February the third. 